today we showed them around the aircraft, showed them what we do for our pre-flights, as well as showed them around our alternate insertion extraction devices, showing them our capabilities of bringing in the team or taking, sending them out to the landing zone. When we're not flying, we all have additional duties. For me, it's resource advisor, so we're actually tracking those funds for TDYs to go to different countries to do uh, gun lines, cold weather response stuff. My favorite part about the job is how diverse it is. So we're not just a flight engineer, we're a gunner, we're a load master, hoist operator. And being able to wrap up all those things together makes it a lot more satisfying. One of the most challenging parts of the job is trying to think ahead of the aircraft. Okay, so we're going to an LZ. We have enough fuel to get there. If we do, are we too heavy to even make it to the landing zone? If we are too heavy, do we have to drop off weight before we get there as far as fuel, burn it up, however, and then think tactically. So wrapping up the system knowledge of the aircraft, its capabilities, knowing what the enemy has and what's stopping us from being able to achieve the goal. And that's really where the seasoning and the professionalism comes through. But when we start to think from the very beginning, we have great instructors teaching phenomenal new aviators how to put that together and how to build that way of thinking so that you can make those kinds of decisions at the split second when it matters. Because the reality for your profession is that's always how it is. It is always split second.